Welcome back to Wake Up Call. Now I'm here with Jared Cox and Cole Furmature, and these guys are heroes. You might have read about them, but now they're here to tell their story. So walk me through what happened, Cole. Um, well, it pretty much started. There was three of us there sitting in our uh, lawn chairs just hanging out. Um, it was a pretty windy, foggy day out. Um, and then kind of out of nowhere, uh, a mom or sister, we think it is. It was her sister, sister yeah. uh, Came running up. She was a little wet, so she, you could tell she was out there trying to get the kid. Um, she was just yelling for a lifeguard and for help, just kind of pointing out, just yelling. Um, and then we kind of just looked for a second for the lifeguard. There was no one there. We stood up and kind of just took off, I guess. Um, then I think I got out to the kid first and uh, really didn't say much. The kid was just really just looked scared. So we just kind of grabbed him, started swimming in against the current, trying to get him through it. And then finally, uh, Connor Churchill was there, so we both started like pushing the kid with the waves because it was we just couldn't fight the current to get out of it. So we were just pushing the kid, um, and finally we got to a sandbar where we could finally stand where Jared was, who walked the kid up to yeah. his uh, family. I, yeah, I got him to the shore, and then his family came and got him from there. And how did his family react once you brought him back? Uh, they were all like very thankful. They came over and were definitely like panicked. So it was yeah. interesting, and we like didn't really realize in the moment what had happened. So we just kind of like hit the shore and then like went back to our lawn chairs and then people like started coming up and like thanking us and stuff. Oh wow. So what was going through your mind as you went out there and as you saw everything that was happening? I mean for me nothing really like even like we didn't even think about it. We just like took off our shirts and ran into the water and she was like so frantic that it was just really like there was no time to think about anything. Just we went out and started swimming. And are any of you guys trained like lifeguards or anything like that? Not a no, chance. <laughs> uh -uh, uh -uh. Were you guys worried at any point when you were going out there, or were you just focused on getting him? Pretty much just focused on the kid. It was, it was kind of tough to see him. So once I locked eyes like with the kid, I could see him. I just was in it, swam to him. And by the time I got to him, I was just kind of knew we had to get this kid back in. So it just started working. It wasn't really a thought to it. Just started going. And how old did you say that little boy was? Like 10? Um, yeah, 10 9 or 10. Like number, yeah. So had the current just pulled him out? Yeah, would... he was on like a boogie board, mm -hmm. but he had no, he couldn't even like kick. So he was just literally just getting dragged out farther and farther. Oh, wow. And then once you finally got to him, you started like pushing him, and then he would swim a little bit and then get back up to him and push him again until he finally got to me, and then I just dragged him in from there. Oh, wow. So when did you guys realize like what you had done and that you had just saved this little boy and made his family a little happier too? I think it was probably... Only a couple of days after, we were getting calls and texts kind of all over the place. We yeah. did a FaceTime interview with the KC News, I think. Yeah. Was that it? The Kansas City or KC Fox or something. Yeah. I don't know what it was. So then it yeah. started like hitting us like, wow, like, people are actually like noticing what we did. And we still at that point were just like, yeah. Kind of I mean, brush it off for, like next day at the beach, you know? So. Yeah. And the rest of our friend group like wasn't even there. And we like knew they wouldn't like believe us when we told them the story. And then that mom came and took the photo like 20 minutes after they were there. And then they're like, oh, that was actually real. So that was pretty funny watching that happen. Yeah. So I think that's the headline I saw was the photo that that mom had taken. So what did you guys, what were you thinking when she came up and asked for that picture and when people started coming up to you guys on the beach? I didn't really even know like what to say at that point. I was just like, Thank you, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we didn't. We just didn't know what to really say. We were just kind of in the moment, just like, yeah. still was on spring break. <laughs> yeah. So we didn't really put too much thought into it. Other than yeah. That. And she, like, just happened to be from Kansas, too, which was, like, oh, small really? world. Yeah. yeah. I don't know where exactly, but uh, yeah. some small town in Kansas. But, yeah, she just, like, came up and took our photo. We didn't even really think anything of it. And oh. then it started spreading. So that was yeah. cool. So how did that change your guys' spring break? Did it at all, or did it make it better? Or were you shooken up after? I mean, I think it added a lot of just like a feel good kind of yeah. type feel to like the, the spring break. I just got something pretty good out of it, I guess. Yeah. Without even like, it, was, it just wasn't planned to happen at all. So it was just kind of something random that ended up being beneficial, I think. Just, I mean, the kid was all right and everything else was ended up fine. So it yeah. was good. So how did your friends react once they heard the story and started reading it and everything? <laughs> They definitely were laughing at first because yeah. there's no way they believed us, uh, but it, it was funny seeing their reactions, definitely. Yeah. And then they were like, yeah, they started calling us heroes, being sarcastic, <laughs> but yeah, it was funny seeing their reactions. And then did you have family members seeing this on Facebook, or did you tell your families, or 
How'd that go? Yeah, I think about like every one of my family members commented or shared it at oh, least. I and then yeah, I had tags and calls. Yeah. yeah. It was at like a thousand shares within 24 hours. And That's then we were awesome. Like, wow. Yeah. It was cool. Well, you guys really made a difference this spring break. So thank you guys for coming on the show and sharing your story. We'll be right back on Wake Up Call.